Stop wasting months trying to break into AI the hard way. I've been there, tired of confusing tutorials and courses that led nowhere. This video is your shortcut to success. It took me about a year to build my very first basic AI application and then another year to solve a real world problem. But looking back, I know I could have done it so much faster. If I could start over with AI, knowing all the things that I know now, how would I do it? Well, that's exactly what I'm sharing in this video. I'll strip away all the unnecessary steps and give you directly the fastest path to go from zero to landing an AI engineering job. And plus, I'll share the three biggest mistakes I made and how you can exactly avoid them. The first step is picking your area of focus in AI. AI is a broad field encompassing several branches and your choice will depend on your interest and your career goals. Machine learning, for instance, is a branch of AI that focuses on building models that can learn from the data. It powers many different kinds of applications like recommendation system, fraud detection, and of course, predictive analytics, and jobs in this area include machine learning engineer or simply data scientist. Now, deep learning is a more advanced branch of artificial intelligence that uses, of course, neural networks to tackle more complex problems like, for example, image recognition, natural language processing, and of course, autonomous driving. So if you're drawn to innovation in these areas, then roles like deep learning engineer or AI research scientist might be a good fit for you. Now, computer vision, another branch of artificial intelligence, even though quite close to deep learning because oftentimes it will leverage neural networks, well, this branch enables models to understand visual data with many applications in, for example, healthcare for medical imaging or retail for object detection. And of course, last but not least, Generative AI, a recent branch of artificial intelligence that focuses on creating content such as text, images or videos and is starting to be used virtually everywhere these days. Now, no worries, if you're unsure where to start, I recommend starting with machine learning, which is a great starting point because not only it will build some solid foundations for many AI applications, but besides, it will create a strong base for exploring other areas later. So now, once you've picked your focus, your next step is, of course, to learn Python. Python is the de facto programming language for AI and that for a good reason. One, it's easy to learn. Two, it's widely used. And three, most important reason, it has an incredible ecosystem of AI libraries such as NumPy, Pandas, or Scikit-Learn. Now that said, Python is not your only option. For example, R is very popular in statistical analysis, while Julia is well known for its speed in numerical computations. However, you have to keep in mind that Python will remain the gold standard for AI, largely because of its vast community support, its rich library ecosystem, and of course, its versatility. And besides, in addition to AI, Python is also used for web development, for automating repetitive tasks, or even creating games. And so, cherry on the cake, while you're learning Python for AI, you will also open yourself some new doors to other tech fields. And even better, Python is actually one of the easiest programming languages to learn, so it's an ideal starting point for beginners. So there you go, if you're completely new to programming, then I highly recommend spending your first month mastering Python basics. And trust me, there is no way around Python if you're serious about AI, but the good news is that Python was designed to be beginner friendly. Now, once you're comfortable with Python, the next step that I recommend is to dive into machine learning and start with the fundamentals, linear regression, logistic regression, decision trees, or even clustering. Use the scikit-learn library to implement very easily these algorithms and don't just read about them, build small projects like, for example, predicting house prices or predicting customer churn. These hands-on projects will cement your understanding and give you something to showcase in your portfolio. Now next, very important, you need to get hands-on. And that's where most beginners make their first major mistake. They just learn passively. They never put their hands on something, building some real-world applications. Reading documentation or watching tutorials can give you a really false sense of progress. 
Because you know, AI isn't just about memorizing definitions. It's about solving problems. So there you go. Remember this very important thing. The best way to learn AI is to build real world projects. And you can just start simple. Build a machine learning model for regression reclassification, like for example, a logistic regression model to predict if your favorite NFL team will make it to the playoffs this year. All right, so now once you've grasped the basics, it's time to tackle deep learning. And when you do, start with PyTorch. It's an industry standard framework, super powerful and well reputed for its flexibility. Now, how can you learn deep learning? Well, you can follow a structured course like Deep Learning A to Z on SDS. But again, the most important that you have to remember is that you need to practice as much as you can and build a portfolio of real world projects to showcase what you've done, you know, to showcase your experience. For example, a simple deep learning project that you could do is to build a classifier that separates cat images from dog images. It's a great starting project and once again, it will strengthen your portfolio. And now, of course, as you deepen your understanding of AI, explore generative AI and agentic AI. Generative AI is all about creating new content like text, images, or even music. It's used in applications ranging from chatbots to art generation. Services like Amazon Bedrock make it easier to use these advanced models without the need to build everything from scratch. And similarly, Longchain allows you to create AI applications by enabling models to perform tasks more effectively. And both tools simplify the process, making these cutting edge technologies accessible to build real world projects. Now, on the other hand, agentic AI involves creating intelligent agents that can solve some problems, make some decisions and interact with the environment autonomously. For example, think of an AI assistant capable of organizing your calendar while at the same time negotiating with others according to your preferences. And agents like this can be implemented using some reinforcement learning frameworks like Amazon Bedrock or OpenAI Gym. And both areas are rapidly evolving and provide exciting opportunities for innovation and specialization in the AI field. Now, as you're learning, don't try to absorb everything in isolation. Join the AI communities on platforms like LinkedIn, Reddit, Hugging Face, or the SDS community. This will allow you to participate in labs, interactive workshops, and some collaborative projects where you can team up with other people to build and deploy a real world application. Because this will not only expose you to real world problems, but also will allow you to connect with like-minded people in the field. Now, let's talk about the second major mistake beginners make. The second major mistake is ignoring deployment. Knowing how to build real world problems is great, but in the real world, you have to deploy them. So you should learn how to package your models as APIs using, for example, Flask or Fast API, and then host them on cloud computing platforms like AWS, Microsoft Azure, or Google Cloud Platform GCP. Because deploying even a simple model will teach you end-to-end -end skills that employers highly value. Now, let's talk about the importance of showcasing your work. Build a portfolio that includes at least three solid projects. These could be, for example, a sentiment analysis model for movie reviews, an image classifier for detecting diseases, or once again, an AI agent that adds automatically reminders to your calendar based on prompts, for example. Now, very important, try to document as much as you can your project on GitHub. It's of course a platform widely used by developers to share code and collaborate with others. Just think of it as your public coding resume where potential employers can see your work and code in action. And now even better, pair your GitHub portfolio with blog posts or LinkedIn articles that explain your projects in plain language. This will not only highlight your skills, but also show your ability to communicate your work, your findings, your results to a broader audience, which is once again, a skill highly valued in the industry. Now, speaking of LinkedIn, make sure that your LinkedIn profile is optimized. Add AI engineer or machine learning specialist to your headline. 
highlight your projects and include all the important words such as AI, generative AI, machine learning, deep learning, even agentic AI, and of course, Python. Don't forget that LinkedIn is a search engine and that recruiters need to be able to find you when they're looking for AI talents. Now, lastly, let's address the third major mistake, giving up too soon. Indeed, AI is very challenging and it's very easy to get discouraged or abandoned. And the key to avoid this is discipline and consistency. Practice daily, keep building projects and keep applying for roles. It might take a few months or even a year, but once you land your first AI job, you will see that the opportunities are endless. You can grow into a senior role, lead teams building groundbreaking AI solutions, or even start your own AI-powered business. Now, one final piece of advice to transform your AI journey is to adopt a growth mindset and focus on solving problems. AI isn't just about mastering tools. It's about staying curious, staying resilient and purpose-driven. Every challenge, from debugging code to understanding complex concepts, is an opportunity to grow. The best AI professionals don't just learn, they apply their skills to solve real-world challenges. Just think about the problems you encounter in your daily life, like your workplace or your community. Could you build, for example, a chatbot to automate customer service for a small business? or create a predictive model to optimize inventory for a local store, or even design a computer vision system to identify wildlife in conservation efforts. Make it fun for yourself. Focus on projects that excite you and align with your interests. Not only this will make your learning more enjoyable, but also it will allow you to showcase your passions and what you're capable of. Remember this. Hiring managers and recruiters highly value unique and self-driven projects because they highlight your initiative and genuine enthusiasm for AI. Now, equally important is your ability to share your AI solutions with the world. Don't just build, communicate. Whether you're presenting your findings to non-technical stakeholders, sharing your projects on GitHub, or writing about your journey in blog posts, Storytelling is an essential skill. For example, tools like Streamlit or Tableau can help you make interactive dashboards and stunning visualizations that can make your work accessible to the world. Remember, the goal of AI is not just to build smart systems, it is to solve problems and make life better for people. And now finally, a powerful motivator is to surround yourself with like-minded people in a supportive community. Indeed, AI sometimes feels like a lonely journey, but you're not alone. You can join communities like Kaggle, Reddit, Hugging Face, Super Data Science, or LinkedIn groups in order to connect with other AI engineers or AI enthusiasts. And once you join the communities, make sure to do two very important things. One is to attend the different events like the meetups, the collaborative projects or even the hackathons. And two, it is to give back to the community. Indeed, giving back to the community, like for example, collaborating with others, will allow you to tackle more complex problems and therefore upskilling your AI game. And in that journey, you will actually also discover that even seasoned professionals have moments of doubt, loneliness or even failure and hearing their stories will remind you that perseverance pays off. And now most importantly, don't be afraid to dream big. AI is a field where innovation knows no bounds. Think of the biggest breakthrough today. Well, don't forget that they started as ideas that seemed impossible to make happen. Like for example, self-driving cars or AI-generated art or AI coding assistance. The possibilities are endless, and with each step you take, you are contributing to a future shaped by AI. So whether your goal is to land a high-paying job, start your own AI-powered business, or contribute to groundbreaking AI innovations, remember that every expert was once a beginner. What matters most is your commitment to show up every day, never stop learning, 
never stop practicing, keep networking, and push your limits. For me, diving into AI was completely life-changing. It opened doors to many incredible business opportunities and allowed me to build a life of freedom and abundance where I could create anything I wanted with my tech skills powered by AI and also to really work on projects I was passionate about. And if you follow this roadmap, I am confident it will do the same for you. Now, you might be feeling a bit overwhelmed by all the things I said in this video. So if that's the case, no worries. I highly recommend joining our free training session I'm hosting on Thursday, where we will go through this again all together on a structured path, but most importantly, where I will share with you a framework called the Career Boosting Framework, composed of five steps, which you will simply have to follow in order to grow your AI skills, grow your AI career, and most importantly, find the greatest AI opportunities in the AI job market. Of course, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips on AI and machine learning. And until then, enjoy AI.